Zach, since the day I first met you, I knew there was something special about you. I was drawn to you in a way that I couldn't explain at the time. It was like God was whispering over my shoulder to not give up on this boy. I saw your inner strength, your tenacity, your passions and devotions. I saw you for you. You were a challenge, yes, probably the greatest challenge of my life, but are worth all of my love to my core. Ever since I was a little curly-headed girl, I prayed every night for a godly man to walk into my life and be my forever. Zach, you are my forever. I can promise you to love you with everything that I have, to honor your well-being and emotions, and be the one that you can always count on, to be your partner for life. I want and I will let God shine through our relationship and come together through oneness in Jesus Christ. To my last day, I will fight for you. I will love you and continue to take care of you. I will continue to develop myself to be the man that you need me to be and a partner to you and our future family. Today, as I stand before you, I make these promises to you. I vow to be a patient, gentle, faithful, compassionate, endlessly loyal, strong, and a God-fearing wife. I promise to personally look to God to grow spiritually each day and I can, so I can grow into the wife that God wants me to be for you. I promise to encourage you, to laugh with you, and to support and nurture your dreams and creativity. <laughs> I will lay down my life for you, for our family and our future family. Your family is not my family. I love every, every aspect of you, and I will continue to be yours until death does us part. You were born together, and together you shall be forever. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has grievance against someone. My dove in the cliffs of the rock, in the hiding places on the mountainside, show me your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. I give you this ring. Symbol of my vow. With all that I have. All that I have. I honor you. Father, of the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zach Brakeiron. It's just been an incredible experience uh, working up to this this wedding, and. We couldn't feel any luckier uh, to have the brake irons as, as part of our family. Zach, yes, you have definitely tested the waters with your mother and I, and we might not always agree, but we both love you very, very much. Keep up your faith in Jesus and take care of Audrey and your future grandchildren. Zach, I know that Zane would be incredibly proud of the man you've become and the woman you've chosen to spend your life with. Uh, with that, I love you both and wish you a lifetime of health, happiness, and adventure. Funny, loving, curious, adventurous little space cadets. I want you to know how lucky you both are to have each other. My wish for you is that you take your love and zest for life into everything that you do. Zach, I hope you recognize how special this girl is, how loved and adored she is by her people. <laughs> that you know this love now extends to you as well. Cheers to the happy couple. <laughs> we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for both traveling, coming here, and spending such a joyous occasion with us. 